Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be getting our player shooting in the space shoot 'em up game. Let's roll the introduction and get right into it. In the previous episode, we had our spaceship moving left and right, and we also had a boost. Uh, for the shooting, let's open up the object player and open up the create event, the step event, and then we also have an alarm zero, which we will be using. So let's maximize this. And inside the create event, you can see that we have two variables. We have a can shoot on line eight and then a timer shot. The can shoot I'll be using as a Boolean to tell us whether or not we are allowed to shoot. Timer shot is how long we have to wait for alarm zero to fire to reset the can shoot variable. So using this information, let's go to our step event and let's go down a little bit after the horizontal movement and you can see that we have shooting. So just like anything, we wanna make sure that we check for the global shoot key and this key itself comes from the object in it. So if we bring that object in it up, you can see that we have a player shot key here, which is gonna be set to VK space. So once we press the space bar, the other thing we have to do is we have to check that can shoot variable. So if this equals true, so let's actually use the long form. If it equals true, then we're going to come into here and we're going to fire off the bullet. So the very first thing we want to do is reset our variable defaults, meaning we can't shoot anymore. And then we're going to set the timer based on that timer shot. So while we're here, let's copy this can shoot variable, go into alarm zero, and then what we're going to do is just reset the can shoot to true, which will then come back to the step event and allow us to shoot again. Now what I want to do next is instantiate a bullet. I'm going to instantiate the object player bullet at my X and Y position on my player, and then I'm going to move it up minus 32 pixels. Now I am going to be using a bullet layer. So if we go into room main here, you can see that we already have a bullets layer right here. So it's just going to be on the depth of the bullet layer itself. And once we instantiate this bullet, what we want to do is set the direction and we need it to go up and up in game maker is going to be 90 degrees. Now that we have the direction, let's set the speed. We'll set it to something pretty high, such as 20. So this is just going to be how fast it moves on the screen. And these are actually using built-in variables, so we don't actually have to do any coding for this. The only other thing I want to do is I want to play a laser sound. So it's going to play this sound clip, and this is the priority. And basically, this is just an enumerator. If we go into this enumerator, you can see I have my sounds. Lasers are set at 40, so the higher the sound, the more likely it is to play if the sound engine is busy. And then we basically just say, no, we don't want to loop it. So if I run my game again, I should be able to move left and right. And actually, we have an error, so let's fix this right here. And we don't need that extra uh, bracket and semicolon so let's run our game again and i'm going to move left and right i can hit my shift key to boost and if i hold down my space bar you can see that now we are shooting a uh, bullet the only thing we should do is make sure that these bullets get cleaned up so let's close this let's open up the object bullet here and we have a create event and a step event inside the create event I'm going to be using a time to live. So basically this is just going to be a counter that's going to count down. And once it reaches 10 seconds, it's going to destroy itself. You could do an out of room boundary check, but this one's pretty easy to do. So to get this working, let's go in the step event and we're going to remove one tick on every frame. And then if our time to live is less or equal to zero, then all we want to do is destroy that particular instance, which is going to be our bullet. So now if I run my game and I were to hold down the space button for half an hour, everything gets cleaned up automatically and we don't have to worry about memory management. So that ends this quick video. The next one we'll get into particles and probably the wave generator. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you see and want to show some support, smash that like button. Check out my Patreon page for more ways to support me. And talking about Patreon, a special shout out to the following users. Mary, Robert, Game Maker Community, Ken, Ashby, Victor, Paul, and David. Once again, thank you all for watching.